well, any conservation, it's like a, a murder mystery. <laughs> but it's all about investigation and trying to put together the story that, of what happened to this window and what it should look like. At our studio in Brooklyn, Mary Clerk and Higgins' task is to recover what time and weather have worn away from stained glass artifacts of the medieval world. So this is a piece from um, around 1245. Glass uh, corrodes. This panel has a whole swath of really corroded glass at the bottom of it, which may mean that it actually was very close to the sill in the cathedral and that leaves and such piled up and held a lot of moisture right up against it right at the bottom. You can't do research on every material that you're going to use and every technique. And, um, but luckily there are people who do that and so we can use their research so that the um, materials that we use are safe, long lasting and uh, that we're not doing any damage. Hannah Ramesh is one of these people. She researches the chemical composition of glass, which can give clues to the best methods of restoration. I was trained as a chemist, but I was always interested in the arts. To repair the arts, Ramesh starts off by looking at the deteriorated glass under a light microscope to investigate problems on the surface. Then she examines the piece through an electron microscope to find tiny cracks and take color measurements to understand how glass changes with time. So there are a lot of analytical techniques involved, first of all, um, and uh, this helps us understand glass and changes with time. Knowing how glass falls apart helps conservators put it back together, and there are a number of steps involved. You need to clean the glass to repair breaks. You are fixing problems that the piece has. Conservation has changed over time. For example, the way conservators clean glass is much less aggressive nowadays. I um, clean most of the uh, medieval glass that I work on just using a mild enzymatic solution, which basically is spit. Why is our spit such a good cleaner? It contains an enzyme called alpha amylase, which normally helps us break down sugars and starches. When applied to gunk on stained glass, it has a similar effect. In fact, a form of this enzyme, called termomil, is used in many kinds of detergents. Once Clerk and Higgins understands how the pieces of the puzzle fit together, she can begin to bring back what time has worn away. But I'm trying to get it, using the clues that I find here, back to um, something more like what it was originally. But Clerk and Higgins doesn't want to restore it exactly to its original state. So we want to keep traces of its history, even on the surface, um, on the object as such. This is why we would not call it renovation or recreation. We don't want to go back to what it looked before. The entire restoration process doesn't just reveal clues about the original work of art, but its journey through the centuries. They are examples of artistic expression um, in various periods of time. Glass is a material which has always inspired artists and is still um, doing this today.